Ah, you have to be extremely careful here. The waves are pounding against the shore. Unbelievable. One step wrong, and you are gone. Three photographers on an adventurous road trip through northern Norway. Steep mountains. Rugged islands. Deep fjords. Perfect conditions for Team Hawkland. I've been to Norway several times, but in the next few days we'll be traveling to places I've never been before or photographed before. I'm really looking forward to that. And also I've never been here in fall or late summer, so I'm very curious how the colors will be here north of the Arctic Circle. What I expect from the trip are definitely stunning landscapes, harsh weather conditions, crazy situations and a fun get-together with my colleagues. I'm really curious how it will be, especially the dramatic landscapes in the islands. I'm looking forward and I think the pictures will be epic. Our road trip starts at Harsatnavik Airport. Then we drive by car towards Tromsø to Zenja, which is an island. And from Zenja we then take the ferry to Andoja or the Vesteral. And from there to the Lofoten, to the place of origin of Haukland. We drove to Zenja at night, almost three hours, and then slept. Woke up the next morning and could see the landscape for the first time. Yeah, my first impression of Senja was definitely colder as expected. It's still summer actually and I didn't think it was that cold. At the first day we had harsh weather and a lot of rain. Although we wanted to go to our first spot. The plan is to drive a bit around the island, see what we can do, because one second it rains, the other second it doesn't, then it rains again, and the wind is also very strong. I think it would be really cool and dramatic today. I've never been so high up in the north, and of course I know the landscape from many pictures, from many videos, but it's exciting to finally see it live in my own eyes. And yeah, maybe we will even manage to get one or the other shot already today. At the first location we were on a super beautiful beach with Caribbean colors and beautiful patterns in the sand. We stopped right here at that wonderful beach and now we're looking for beautiful motors. This is a swimming area so people like to swim here. Uh, maybe not today. It was pretty cold and I didn't expect it to be that cold at this time of the year. It was probably due to the wind, I guess it was around 7 degrees Celsius, but because of the wind it was pretty cold and had rained again and again. It was very uncomfortable. So I actually wore gloves right from the start and meanwhile in Germany 26, 27 degrees Celsius and my wife sent me messages, we're at the lake, what are you doing? Uh, wearing gloves, it's raining, it's very cold difference was big. Can you see these amazing mountains behind me? That looks unbelievable. With the lights and shadows, the cloudy sky, they are really cool structures. Now I'm going to look for interesting motifs with my telelens. It will be exciting to see how each of us takes different photos and cares for different things at the same location. Even as a professional photographer, you have to warm up like a professional athlete does. They train before the match, get warm, so that things go well after kickoff. And yeah, that's what it's like when taking photos. You have to warm up a little, you have to find your way into the flow, and there's a little hack I got for you. Before you really unpack the big equipment, look through your mobile phone. 
check some perspectives, look up, down, zoom in, wide angle. That often helps to see, hey, it could be worth it. And then the camera gets unpacked. I'm Christoph, I'm a coach for image editing and photography and come from the beautiful city called Nuremberg in Germany. I just love taking pictures. So pressing the shutter button is for me the greatest thing on earth. I don't want to commit myself that I prefer landscapes or cities, travel motives, people or anything. I do what I feel like, what is fun right now and yes, that's how it leads me into the most diverse directions. We split up and everyone takes photos of what they're interested in. And we all have a GoPro with us, so we can show you our perspective in vlog style. When the light isn't that great, it often helps to look for natural frames. And here you have a very nice one with a tree and a few bushes in the foreground. If you now use a relatively long focal length, it compresses the mountain silhouette in the background and that's very nice. The good thing is we are traveling in a group. And that is always an advantage when you want to show the dimensions. Now I take Ludwig, our camera guy, as a reference point in between the frame. And I think that could look really cool. Especially with a yellow Hawkland jacket. On the beach I discovered great structures on the ground. We can also look for lines that come together with a beautiful mountain background. I just took a long exposure of this waterfall back there together with a little house, but now it starts to rain again, which means I have to pack up all the filters, raindrops on filters, add a long exposure not that good but yeah at least one photo shit now the rain starts but we got the shots already <laughs> you're a real tourist man now we have to sit out the rain but back there it looks good again the challenge at the first spot was definitely the weather up and down with rain and wind Right next to the road is a really nice waterfall. Only the power lines look a bit ugly, but I'll check if I can walk up there. Maybe the power lines are not in the picture. I explored the path a bit. And did some good face plants. I fell in the mud with the camera running. Nice ankle break at the first day. Yeah, but at least not injured bad. The autumn colors look beautiful. The trees, the leaves, it looks great. At the first spot with the beach, it was actually quite nice that there was a little creek coming down at the back. We were able to take some long exposures before the downpour came and we rushed back into the car. But a couple of nice shots have already been taken. Time for this epic mountain panorama we've already seen from the beach. The sea smashes beautifully on the rocks. I think it will be really good with the foregrounds and backgrounds. It's not raining, so let's go. There are great lines everywhere. My name is Lukas Vögelin. I'm from Basel, Switzerland, and I'm a landscape photographer. I like pictures with a very present foreground, where something happens and the view gets directed. And what I also like are colors, not too much, but to a good amount. 
That's my style. Lines are something that I'm always looking for. If you arrive at a location with such lines, give it a try and create more interesting images. There are little pools with reflections all over the place. And again, I'm using Ludwig as a reference, placing him right into the frame. It looks great, especially when you're relatively close. I'll show you that in a minute, but I have to be careful. It's ultra slippery and I almost slipped off here before. It's a bit windy at the moment, but if you go close enough, you really have a perfect reflection and with the sky in the back, this looks really cool. It was very, very impressive to take photos there. The waves had a lot of power and the water was a few meters away, but if you take one step wrong, you will fall in the water and you don't want that. You have to be extremely careful. It's super slippery around here. Everything is like covered in soap. One step wrong and you are gone. The water is very cold and the waves very strong. It pulls you in the ocean or bangs you back against the rocks. In any case, watch out where you step. It can be very dangerous. My name is Benjamin Jaworski, photographer and adventurer, and most people that have subscribed to my channel here will already know me. Mainly I photograph landscapes, also travel-related things for almost 13 years now. But I think here in Norway I will mainly focus on landscapes. I stand on top of a huge rock and in front of me the waves hit the other rocks and I take some long exposures of that situation. Looks very cool. Can you see it down there, the rock? And when the waves pop around it, I try to do a relatively long exposure, just under 30 seconds. I think it's about 20 seconds. It looks pretty nice, especially with these dramatic mountains in the background. The challenge on the first day was to cope with the changing light situations. You have to stay flexible. It's not just rain or just sun. It changes all the time. You have to be able to adopt quickly. That was a bit challenging, but it also was lots of fun. The waves are pounding against the shore. It's raining and there are these crazy peaks in the back. That's truly a photographer's dream here. Big, the light shoots through there. Oh, we've been through multiple rain showers now and need to dry my camera quickly before I change the lens. Because right now we have a beautiful play of light and shadow in the distance. I need a longer lens for that. So crazy situations we have had. The sun came down over here, combined with this hazy lighting conditions over there. I had so much fun capturing that. We got a little wet, on the outside of course, not on the inside, but it was really worth it. This is photography the way I love it. Typical Norway weather on the one hand, on the other hand, these wild waves, the Atlantic that smashes and hammers, and all this salt water spray all the time, and I stand on top of a big rock. Tag, tag, wait, 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 wait. Long exposure, hoo hoo hoo, and then bam, nice photo. I like it. I think we come back here again at sunset. We then drove somewhere else to check for better light or maybe less rain and only one or two kilometers away there was a viewing platform and I'm usually not that much of a fan of viewing platforms but this was different. What an epic view! Totally insane! You don't even know what to do first! The batteries are dead! I mean nobody expected that. The sun was already gone and then... 
This was the first episode of Team Hawkland. Did you like it? Then come back next Friday for the second episode at 6 p.m. EDT here on this YouTube channel. And share this episode with your photography friends. We filmed this whole trip originally in German language last year and now dubbed everything in English so the whole world can enjoy this great adventure and learn about photography. And if you want to learn more about Hawkland, photographer's clothing, visit www.hawkland.us. We have just activated two-day US pre-orders with limited early bird discounts. And also subscribe to the free newsletter and get nine Team Hawkland Lightroom presets we created in Norway as a gift. Link is in the description. See you next time.